Dallasites bought $37 million worth of savings bonds last year, a hefty amount. But the bonds pay only 6% interest a year if held to maturity. That's just three quarters of a point more than savings and loans, and a percent and a half less than many certificates of deposit. In the eyes of many investment analysts, the interest rate is just too low. If you look at the real rate of return on investments, it's zero. Uh, the savings and bond, savings and loan, I mean the savings bonds are paying about 6%, but inflation is going at about 6%, so the guy really doesn't make anything. Uh, Milton Friedman, in fact, has called the sale of government bonds a fraud on the public because the government is responsible for the inflation, and yet they're selling bonds at a rate at which you can't beat inflation. Do you agree with that kind of a statement? I don't know if I want to make it quite that strong or not, but I certainly don't think we ought to be selling government bonds without a floating rate on them, such that you are guaranteed a rate of interest that exceeds the rate of inflation. William Aston, chairman of the Dallas Region Savings Bond Drive, agrees that bonds may not be the best deal as long-term investments, but points out their other value. As a savings tool, uh, you can't do as well or any better saving money any other way. Do you have any savings bond yourself? Yes, I do. I'm a, I'm a firm believer in it, and uh, I, I have savings bonds deducted from my paycheck every payday. Payroll deduction is the most popular way of buying bonds. Last year, over 9 million people bought bonds that way. Critics point out that bonds cannot be used as collateral and that there is no existing plan to up the interest rate. But to most buyers, having a nest egg, savings bonds or not, is apparently more important than having none at all. Byron Harris, Channel 8 News.